I'm going to teach you some pattern interrupters that you can do to instantly change the input into your brain. Usually when your brain's giving you a shitty output, something like tension, pain, vertigo, dizziness, headaches, migraines, it's trying to have an internal dialogue with you at that moment and trying to tell you, give me something different, change the input. So we can use a variety of different measures to instantly change those inputs in those moments you feel shitty. Let's get into it. So one is using your hands. Your hands hold a lot of real estate in your brain. What you can actually do is little finger down and then little finger up, little finger down, little finger up. These are complex movement patterns which stimulate more areas of the brain, which is going to change that pattern and hopefully decrease that crappy output. I'll do about five of those. That's going to be a little bit difficult if you haven't done that before, which is a great thing. It's a new snack. And then big finger down, big finger up. Big finger down, big finger up. Good. Another one you can do is just wrist circles. Rotate one way, rotate the other way. Those kind of things, using the hands is going to stimulate the brain a lot faster than using, say, the knees or the elbows, etc. Another great movement one is an instant circle. As soon as we rotate the hips, we use more of the joint structure, more communication of the ball and the socket joint, which instantly changes the input into the brain. So you can try for about five circles one way and then five circles the other way. That's a great little pattern interrupter. Beautiful. Then one more with the mobility or the physical aspect of that body is you're gonna flip the toes over, get a nice foot stretch. The feet hold a lot of real estate in the brain. You can use your feet to hack the brain, to change the input of your brain. Big stretch in the right foot, and then a big stretch in the left foot, which will just ground that body, change the input, giving you a different output. I know I keep saying that, but that's the important part of this whole video. Good. Then we're gonna go into a little bit more central nervous system change. So usually at that point where you're feeling crappy outputs, your sympathetic nervous response, your flight or fright or threat response is on alarm. So how we've got to turn that alarm off is use the central nervous system to kind of flick the switch. So one, one really great one you can do is use your eyes. I want you to make a little dome with your hands. Keep your eyes open under here and cover your eyes in complete darkness. Now my eyes are open under here and I'm just gonna take some big deep breaths looking into the darkness here. I wanna take a three second inhale Hold for a second at the top and then a four second exhale. Hold for a second at the bottom and repeat for about five breath rotations of that whilst looking into the black. That's gonna completely reset the vision to the brain and then the body as well. A great pattern interrupter. You can also use your ears to help pattern interrupt. Same thing, same breath. Cover the ears, muffle the sound. It takes you from out here and brings you back into your body. Big breath in. Hold for a second, breathe out even longer. When we have a long inhale and exhale, it hits the area of the brain that decreases sympathetic response or sympathetic tone and puts you more into parasympathetic, which is exactly what we want. Another pattern interrupter tool you can use is sensation. Sensation is the third most important thing in the body. You can do some little taps all over your head, your skull, your ears, your neck, your jaw. These are big areas of sensitivity in the body because they sit close to the brain. You can rub through the lips, rub the back of the nails on the lips. You can tickle the ears. This is an instant Pattern interrupter, but also grounds your body a little bit as well. Feels super nice to do that one. Beautiful. And the last one is switching on the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve has a lot to do with calming you. So how we can do that is via humming. Now you can either bounce and do this because it's going to give you a little bit more energy through the body or not bounce if you're someone who struggles with dizziness or vertigo. The humming part is the most important part. You can... Hum and bounce. Like I would take a big exhale while I was humming and then take an inhale. 
and do it again while I'm bouncing. If you don't want to do the bounce, you could add it into any of those other ones. So the ears. All the eyes. Humming's powerful for changing the frequency of the brain. Another one, if you don't want to hum, is kind of bubble out your lips so you can go. As you like exhaling every bit of air and then you're able to take a big deep breath in. Any of those, you can use any of those different pattern interrupters the moment you're feeling crappy. The moment you're starting to get a headache, the moment you're starting to get dizzy, whatever it may be where you have a shitty output, give the brain a new snack, change the input, use any one of those things and reassess and go, how do I feel now after my brain's had a new snack? Hmm, I feel better. So there's a whole bunch of things, a toolkit that you can instantly improve your situation with.